You are welcome to DBA TV, where we discuss everything about international trade. Thank you for stopping by at the channel today to check up what we have for you as far as um, international trade, particularly export business information is concerned. Remember to subscribe to this channel, like the video, share with your friends, drop uh, your comment notification in the comment section, and remember to click on notification bell. Um, still discussing issue around finding buyer. Like I said, finding buyer seems to be a major challenge for people, and we we'll also decide to find solution to that and share those information with our fans and those visiting our channel online. So the question I'll be answering today is why buyers abroad are not responding to your email. <laughs> why buyers abroad are not responding to your email. Have we ever wondered why buyers abroad are not responding to your email? You have sent mail severally. You've gotten contact detail. You've sent mail out. And the buyer seems to be ignoring your mail. It's like they're enjoying your message. It's like they're not interested in, even though they need your product. Even though they need your product. And they really will want to buy your product. But for one reason or the other, they've refused to respond to your mail. I get this a lot where people say, look, that's why I tell people, don't just look for, um, don't just look for, um, contact details of buyers, that is not enough. You might send mail or WhatsApp or call and they choose not to respond to you. Why are they not responding to you? Because they don't know you. Because they don't see you as being credible. Because they cannot trust you. Why are they not responding to your messages, to your mail? Because they do not know you. They do not know you. This is one of the things necessitating the need to have a representative abroad. Most businesses in the world that have exported successfully and sustainably over a long period of time, have something in common. That is having a representative in target market. You will not be able to do trade business for a long time if you do not have representative abroad. Because in the course of doing, there will have been issues that will require your attention, that you need to find a way to sort out that if you are unable to sort it out, then you won't be able to continue that business relationship. So to be able to continue that business relationship, you definitely need, you definitely need a representative abroad. This is so important because in trying to find buyers abroad, you should realize that, that you are from Africa, developing country, particularly country that have terrible reputation like Nigeria, you will have people who have already stereotyped you, see you with, a, in that, with that mindset and refuse to do anything, have anything to do with you. So when you send a mail to them, when you call them, when they discover you are from this particular location, they don't want to respond to your messages. So are you wondering why buyers are brought and not responding to your email? Of course, it is because they don't trust you. How then do you bypass it? The reason why they are avoiding your mail and message is because you do have a rep abroad. To bypass it, you need to have a representative abroad. There is no way you will be able to succeed in that market. Remember, let me define export readiness. I'm not sure I've defined it in this series. Export readiness can be defined as a multifaceted concept that involves the ability of a business to successfully enter the market, 
sustainably compete in the market and significantly grow its market share until it becomes established in that market. To achieve this, you inevitably need a representative abroad. So, instead of you sending that mail, instead of you being the one to make that call, let your representative abroad be the one to send the mail, be the one to make the calls. That way you stand a chance of getting a response. Do not mess up the opportunity you have to be able to sell by trying to do it yourself. So find a way. If you get the recap part, you will see different activities or services that your representative is supposed to render for you. Find a way to try as much as possible to get a rep to do this for you. <laughs> you know, it can be frustrating actually when you have contact, you believe this is a buyer who will buy your product and you're reaching out to them and they're not responding to you because they already think that you're a froster and they don't want to do business with you for whatever reason because of the issues. I mean, so many stories around this uh, internet and online floating. But you can avoid all that. You, you, that does not have to affect you. And like I said, the way you can avoid it is to get someone in that market to be the one to represent you. This can be an overseas sales representative. It can be an overseas subsidiary company. It can be an overseas sales branch. The major function of representative is to be the face of, your, of the seller in the export market. It should be the face <laughs> of the seller in the export market. Observation. Observation of this protocol. This is a protocol to be followed. Ensure that the seller is indirectly on ground in the export market to close the sales process. Started via the online promotion. This boosts the credibility of the exporter and gives the exporter the confidence that they are not dealing with a froster. <laughs> Give the confidence that they are not dealing with a froster. Because someone at the destination in the expo market is talking to them, is conversing with them. That makes life easy for you. That reduces the stress on you. That reduces the delay also and makes it easier for you to be able to secure opportunities in that market. I hope this has helped you. If it has helped you, please drop your comments. Let us know how this has helped you. And also remember to ask your question in the comment section. Remember this video is brought to you called CDBA TV. Subscribe to our channel, like the video, drop the comment, I mean, um, um, share the video, like the video, and remember, if you are new, to click on the notification bell. Come here tomorrow again to learn one or two things to be able to help you in your export drive. Remember, my name is Deli Ayemi, but your export doctor, and I'm signing out. Bye-bye. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.